Good morning, this is Paul, and today I'm going to show you how to make a foliar spray out of mealworm frass. So frass is actually a German word for devouring like a beast, which is a great way to describe how mealworms eat. So, or I guess generally these insects. Now, this, in this case, this is mealworm frass or mealworm poop. And basically it has no smell, and it stores well, and it's, it's dry, it's lightweight, and you can see the little specks of the exoskeletons, which is exactly what you want. Now my friend Efrain has been doing this for six months and kind of taught me this, and I'm really impressed. First we started researching it, and you can see that it's all about the chitin. And chitin is a uh, closely related to cellulose, and it's a molecule found in the shells of lobsters, crabs, exoskeletons, algae, and even yeast. And when you spray your plant, it will actually trigger the immune system. So it's an immune response. And you can see Ephraim's plants look very healthy. He's been spraying it for a little over six months. And some of the benefits are gonna be the thicker cell walls on the plant, and it's gonna make a toxic sap to kind of deter pests. So hopefully that's gonna really help with my ant problem on my plants. You can see I just started spraying some of mine, so I don't see much results yet. But this is definitely a very healthy plant. So you're gonna get healthier growth, thicker cell walls, like I said, and, and basically just the way to describe it is that the plant thinks the insects are eating it. So it's gonna to respond to that from uh, the tip of the plant all the way down to the roots. So you can apply it as a foliar spray to hit the epiphytic roots. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And this material also has trace minerals and MPK uh, low level, so it's not gonna burn your plant. So let me go show you how I make it so we can do a foliar spray. Okay, so here's my fifth and final tablespoon of frass. Don't wanna breathe it if you don't have to. And then you're gonna wanna uh, mix it with one gallon of either dechlorinated water, water that's set out in that bucket for a week or so. Or in this case, I'm using rainwater that I've collected. So rain water is great, and this should remain at about a pH balance of seven or so. So it's not really gonna affect the pH. And then now I'm gonna need my staff to stir it up and agitate it. So I like to use this bamboo staff. Another great way to do this would be with a gallon of milk jug and just shake it every 10 minutes or so. And you're just gonna let this sit for an hour. So 60 minutes, and I like to come back and agitate it with the staff about five to six times. So that's what you wanna do. And we'll come back and see what it looks like in a little bit. Okay, so it's been sitting here a little over an hour. I'll agitate it one more time. Did it about six times with my bamboo staff. And then now, I'm gonna use these sifters or strainers. They're for five gallon buckets. This is one one hundredth of an inch, and on top I put one seventieth of an inch. So I'll go ahead and set it up. It's just like that. I found these on Amazon, or actually Efrain recommended them, and they're awesome. I really like them. Really easy to use. So now I'm gonna go ahead and dump the mixture carefully. And the screen is going to do its job. So this way I won't plug up my sprayer. And I can actually reuse this frass. So I'm going to let it dry. So I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to reuse it. Because it's still full of chitin and other nutrients and trace minerals that plants are going to love. And it's going to really help them grow to be more vigorous and healthy. You can see the finer screen. I'm gonna also wash that out and probably let it get on to some of my plants on the ground, some ground cover, because again, this will work on many different types of plants. So here it is, not just dragon fruit. Now it's perfect, and now I can put it right into my sprayer. And it doesn't have a smell. I, I actually like the earthworm castings tea smell, but some people don't pretty earthy, but this doesn't smell like anything. Now for demonstration purposes, I am doing this in the morning 
and that's the worst time to actually spray your plants. You're gonna wanna spray your plants in the evening. So right at dusk or during twilight, because with, especially with dragon fruit, because of cam photosynthesis. And if you remember what that is, it's where basically uh, dragon fruit and other epiphytic cactus will photosynthesize in the nighttime instead of the daytime. So with all the pores and stomas open, this will penetrate into the plant and that's exactly what you want. All right, let's go get spraying. So again, you don't wanna do it like this in the middle of the daytime like I am. The evening time is best, but this is not gonna hurt the plant. So as you can see, I like to apply it really heavily onto the branches from tip to root. Get some more. So I'll get it onto that trellis really well, especially when the plants mature and they have more epiphytic roots. This is gonna be an even more beneficial spray. So again, just apply it really heavily and your plants are gonna love you for it. All right, let me go show you what I do in the greenhouse. So here in the greenhouse, I apply it to my seedlings as well, just a light spray, as well as cuttings that I'm trying to root in the winter. So just a nice light spray on young plants, plants rooting, mature plants, and this is just gonna help benefit the plants. So give us a like and a subscribe. We'll learn more about this and talk more about it in the future. I find this a very interesting strategy for gardening and we'll attach some links that you could read some more on your own and hopefully you'll give this a shot. All right, take care. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.